Hey folks, hope you're having a great Friday wherever you're at. How do you boost your confidence? Thought it would be fun to talk about that. Um, just real quickly though, if you haven't uh, read my book, Sitting with God, A Journey to Your True Self Through Centering Prayer, check it out uh, in the link below to see if it's a, a book that would resonate with you and, and, and help you. And if you've already read the book, even if you read it recently or even a long time ago, um, please consider just writing a short review on Amazon or Goodreads or, or wherever you purchased it. Um, it'll just help others. So if there was something about the book that resonated with you, it'll help others um, discern if it's a book that can help them as well. So again, thanks, thank you very much for your support. So how do you boost your confidence? And I think about public speaking. You know, I was always afraid of public speaking. I avoided it. You know, I, I let others do it. This was not for me. So coming back to how do you boost your confidence, really the best way to boost your confidence is to do the thing that scares the hell out of you. Um, you, you need to bust through your comfort zone. You need to get, you need to come out the other side of that thing that fears you, but you know you want to do it and you just keep putting it off, but you know it'll make you a better person for doing it. So how do you boost your confidence? You do that thing that scares the heck out of you that you've always wanted to do, but keep pushing off, saying someday, someday, someday. So as I mentioned, I was always afraid of public speaking. I avoided it. <laughs> I let others do it. That's not for me. Um, but now I love it. It excites me. It, it, it pumps pumps me up. You know, my confidence grows each time I take the time to speak. You know, I, I love to share my book. I love to share how Centering Prayer has healed me and transformed me and how it has let my true self emerge and my future person self, the person that God wants me to be, the actions that God wants me to take, the things that God wants me to do. It connects me to my true self. So, you know, I now love to speak. I love to go on podcasts and, and talk. I, I love to do these Facebook Lives and share what I hope are, are helpful things for you uh, that I have learned and that I have discovered. You know, I enjoy meeting new people when I speak in front of groups, um, and a lot of it's on Zoom. But again, that can still that can be scary, scary as well. You know, I, I love doing uh, Brian Russell and I. Brian Russell has a podcast, and he and I hooked up well over a year ago, and we became friends. And he uh, so happens to also have a Centering Prayer book that came out um, a little bit later than mine. And we connected, and we get along well, and we do a monthly gathering uh, each third Wednesday, each third Saturday of each month. And we give a talk. We have a Centering Prayer uh, sit and then we have time for Q&A and comments and testimonies, and it's just a fun time. So I, I love doing that, and I always love speaking, and I always love hearing what other people have to say. I always love hearing other people's questions. Um, about a year ago, I spoke in front of 400 people, and, and that's the idea of that scared the heck out of me. And it was on Zoom, but the idea of that scared the heck out of me, and, and I did it anyhow. It was a Centering Prayer Summit that Keith Christ just um, at Closer Than Breath had put together and invited me to be one of, of 10 or so speakers uh, back in January of 2022. So the idea of that scared the heck out of me, but I, I did it anyhow. Um, and even my day job, I, I speak to clients and each time I speak to them, I grow in confidence. I love listening to them and I love speaking to my clients and I love helping them. I deeply care about the service I provide to my clients for my uh, the day job that I do and even at work we we have a quarterly book club and at one of the quarterly book clubs uh, I had read a book called essentialism and then I gave a talk to anyone that wanted to come to the quarterly book club and I shared insight that I had gleaned from it from this book so the point is you know I'll continue to speak and accept opportunities to move out of my comfort zone in this space and, and, and in other spaces too. You know, that's how I continue to learn and grow and do new exciting things. So I'll challenge you, you know, how do you boost your confidence? You boost your confidence by doing the thing that scares the heck out of you, doing it anyhow. 
and keep doing that and keep pushing the envelope and keep pushing yourself out of your comfort zone. Hope you found this helpful. Uh, much love to all of you. And if you have any comments or questions, put them below and, and I'll, uh, I'll react. Take care, everybody.